Welcome to CSWA tutorial number 5, Insert Reference Geometry and Mass Properties. When presented a question with the CSWA exam, you will be asked to create a user-defined reference coordinate system. SOLIDWORKS Reference Geometry creates coordinate systems in terms of positive XYZ. Let's take a look at our sample assembly. You require to create reference geometry positive XYZ with X pointing towards the back and Z pointing towards the right. You require a reference point at the virtual corner of this part. Select Insert Reference Geometry Point. The virtual intersection is located between the horizontal bottom edge and the left bottom edge of the bracket. This represents the sharp corner. At this point, you will insert the reference coordinate system. Select Insert, Reference Geometry, Coordinate System. Select the point and now modify the direction of the axes. The x-axis points towards the back. I selected the left edge. This rotates the z-axis to the right. Define a material with each component. Right-click Edit Material. Select the material required in the CSWA exam from the material list. I selected ANSI 304 in this example. Apply the material. Some components in an assembly may be one material, while the pins in this case are a different material. Select Tools, Mass Properties. Depending upon the units of mass properties, you may be required to select on Options and change the display under Use Custom Settings. Select the length unit required and the number of decimal places. If using inches, a good first run is to select four decimal places. You may require to calculate mass, center of mass, or moment of inertia. All of these by default are based on the output coordinate system. Mass properties can also be selected from the Evaluate tab. Remember to select the coordinate system required in the example. In this case, my default coordinate system is called Coordinate System 2. For more information on the CSWA exam, go to SolidWorks.com slash CSWA. Thank you.